This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Uh, I got a question and also some weird Facebook messages from a guy named Marcelo. Marcelo, I understand that you love me and that God loves me, and let's just leave it at that, buddy. Um, anyway, I got another question, a, a serious question from James Normitt, who was wondering uh, <clears throat> about... Um, what is, where his squat stance should be, especially for competition. He said he's been trying some wide stance squats, and uh, he's been noticing that it's been, you know, feeling very uncomfortable on his hips. Um, you have to realize a lot of times the wide stance stuff is in reference to geared powerlifting. Uh, there's also a little bit of history that you should know. The wide stance squat was created long before powerlifting gear ever came to be. The reason why guys went with a wide stance squat is because it causes like uh, basically a hip impingement, kind of shuts off the hip. If you squat with a wide stance and your feet straight ahead, uh, check out how much depth you can get. It's very hard to get any sort of real range of motion going, so uh, you'll notice that with that stance you're almost uh, creating a suit for yourself, and that's why the old school power lifters back in the day, some of the guys chose to squat that way rather than utilizing the stretch reflex and uh, kind of rebounding off their own body they decided to go with something different. They started, decided to go with a wider stance that would not allow them to get proper depth until they had four or five hundred pounds on their back uh, that would kind of smush them down in position and and uh, they'd get their lift uh, passed, they'd reach depth and that would be that. So also with the wider stance and the feet pointed forward you're going to create more torque through your hips there's some benefit and some uh, uh, reward that comes with the wider stance but there's also a uh, risk to benefit ratio if you're a raw lifter I would not advise uh, really wide stance squats uh, as part of a competition lift although I would recommend it as an assistance movement and if you get good at it maybe that is something that you switch to if you feel uh, if you feel stronger in that position. So ultimately when it comes to competition, it's a competition and you got to do whatever you can to be competitive and uh, that'll mean that you're going to have to utilize whatever stance it is that you're the strongest in. Now having said that, <clears throat> if you notice that you go with a wider stance squat and you really have a lot of problems, not just hip pain, but you're very weak, it may be something that you want to work on for a little while. Just as the lifters of yesteryear used to work on uh, uh, high bar um, close stance squats, quote unquote only squats, um, lifters of today should be kind of uh, utilizing some different methods as well. Whatever it is that you're currently doing, you should try to do uh, something slightly different or the opposite of to help improve weak points. If you're always just doing the same thing all the time, that's all your body's ever going to know. Louis Simmons, my sensei, has once told me that if you read the same book all the time, if you only read one book your whole life and you were on an island all by yourself, that's all you would know. That is whatever was inside that book. So utilize different exercises um, and bring up your weaknesses. Now, how do you bring up a wide stance squat? Well, I'd suggest utilizing a box squat and I would suggest utilizing a high box squat. I would squat uh, however high you have to squat in order to keep the uh, hip discomfort to a minimum. So uh, I would do three sets of five, um, three working sets of five, three heavy sets of five uh, with, um, you know, with whatever weight you can handle for that day and um, try to keep it, try to keep that assistance movement in for about four weeks or so and try to go a little heavier each week. Um, you could also change up the rep scheme and change up the sets a little bit, but about three sets of five. And then also, you're going to want to work your way downward over a period of time. But if it's not your intent to ever ultimately squat that, squat that wide, then uh, I wouldn't even bother with uh, worrying about your depth um, with, that, with that particular squat. So uh, I, that pretty much uh, wraps that up. That pretty much answers your question. And Marcelo, whoever you are, you can stop telling me that God loves me. My mom tells me that every day. I'm already aware of it. And, you know, besides, who doesn't love me? Come on, look at this face. Um, don't forget, people, get a gun hat. Get a hat with a gun on it. It's real easy to shoot people. All you got to do is get the trigger right there. You got to kind of aim it though, which can be difficult, but anybody that pops off at me, I could pop off back with the gun hat. 
That's it from supertraining.tv. I'll see y'all later.